Hello everyone, my name is David Alvarez and this is the project created by a group of mechatronics and biomedical engineering bachelor students at the Autonoma University in Cali, Colombia. The project was developed for the neural control course taught by Professor David Fernando Ramirez. This project consists in developing a mobile robotic platform with a hexapod morphology, inspiring itself from six-legged animals such as scorpions, beetles, ants, among others. The bio-inspired control system that we designed allowed us to connect the locomotion and visual system of the robotic hexapod in order to achieve multiple types of behaviors. For example, aversive behavior when the predator was detected. All of these components were triggered by visual stimulus captured through an onboard camera. Initially, we designed the hexapod structure using the computer-aided design software SOLIDWORKS. Each of the parts were cut in PVC material using a computer numeric control machine and then assembled along with some servo motors used as the robot's actuators. The core control system for the hexapod locomotion consisted of a bio-inspired control in which a basic neural oscillatory circuit generated the control signals to coordinate the motion between each of the six legs. What we did was to simulate the differential equations that mathematically represent the dynamics of a neuron. This mathematical model is based on the spiking neurons model. By using the great matrix capabilities of MATLAB, we continually run an Euler integration method over the four neurons that constitute the neural circuit. In this way, computing the solution of the dynamic call system for each of the time steps. With these signals, we managed to control the servo motors of the hexapod achieving a straight line motion exhibiting an alternating tripod movement that enforces the hexapod to always have three legs on the ground at a time. Similarly, by using another neural circuit, the robot could rotate around its own axis. By combining the straight and angular motion controllers, the hexapod could freely move around its environment. We also created a neural circuit which allowed the hexapod to return to its home position when he encountered a predator agent. This circuit was constituted by a circular array of neurons, which based on the individual distance and relative angle that the robot made in each trajectory, computed the resulting angle. Angle to which the robot had to return in order to go back to its origin point. This neural circuit performed in this way a biological inspired vector summation operation. On the other hand, for the decision making of the robot, we used an onboard camera in combination with image processing algorithms and artificial neural networks. The goal of the object detection is to identify and act among three different kinds of agents represented by color tags. A red agent that represents a predator from which the hexapod must run away going back to its origin. A green agent representing an obstacle to be avoided and a blue agent representing a prey the hexapod most chase. Each color will have a subclass represented by its geometry. Using MATLAB's image processing toolbox in conjunction with the computer vision toolbox, when a color tag was detected, the image was introduced into an image processing pipeline. Each layer was separated binarized and then passed through a property measurement algorithm, which computed the area, centroid, and bounding box for each region in the binary image. Detect detecting the most predominant color of the regions, we could identify if the tag was a predator, a prey, or an obstacle. Based on its geometry, we determined which subclass it belonged to. To do this, we divided the regions into four symmetric parts and computed two statistical parameters of each section. With these features, using MATLAB's Neural Networks Toolbox, we designed the architecture and then trained a radial basis function neural network, which served as a classification model informing the type of geometry present in the image. By uniquely relying on the visual capabilities of the robot, we could determine the position and angle of each of the agent color tags with respect to the robot's frame of reference. Since we only had one onboard camera, we could not use the techniques that depend in a two-camera stereo vision to measure the distances and construct a depth map. Because of this, we made our own technique. We captured a set of images of the tags positioned at different distances and angles. After taking these data points, using MATLAB's curve fitting toolbox, 
two mathematical models which fitted the experimental data were created. A two-variable model which computed the depth in centimeters along the set axis based on the area in pixels of the tag, and a three-variable model which obtained the distance in centimeters of the centroid of the tag measured along the x-axis based on two parameters, the depth in centimeters which, were, which, was, which is computed with the previous model and, di and the distance in pixels of the centroid of the tag. Using Pythagoras' theorem, we could compute the angle. Finally, to map these distances and angles to real-world movements, we used live feedback provided by two sensors. A wireless mouse position under the robot helped us to measure the distance that the robot moved. Each time the robot moved, it dragged the mouse producing a shift in the position of a pointer in a laptop screen. By using Java's robot library, we related this shift in pixels to a shift in centimeters. Additionally, a digital compass gave us the orientation of the robot, useful to position the hexapods to any desired angle. The servo motors were controlled using an Arduino Mega, which was interfaced with MATLAB using Arduino's input-output package. All of the sensors were connected to an Arduino DUE, which through a group of pins, first communicated with the Arduino Mega, and then provided the feedback to the algorithms built in MATLAB.